Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Chandni Vatwani, the Education USA Advisor at Kolkata. And I'm glad that all of you could join us for our webinar today. The webinar today is meant for undergrad women applicants in particular. It's tied to the Vedika Scholarship Program at Agnes Scott College. We have four presenters with us today. Anuradha Das Mathur, who's the founding dean of the program. Bhumini Gupta, who's the program lead. Karbila Sami, who's the assistant director of admissions at Agnes Scott College. And we also have Anushka Pan, who's a current student. Uh, I just got to know that she's, she's actually a part of the first cohort of the program. We're very delighted to have all four of you with us today. Um, before you begin, I would just like to take a moment and tell the attendees, give the attendees a small brief on Education USA and the program offering. Education USA is a US Department of State funded network. It's a global program which is spread over 170 countries of the world. In total, we are over 400 advising centers. And uh, essentially, all the advisors come together to assist students with all their application and admission centric concerns. Uh, webinars are one of our prime offerings, and that's the reason why we are here today. With that, I would request the presenters to get started with the presentation. Towards the end, attendees can type their questions onto the chat section, and I will pull them out one at a time for the presenters to answer them. Thank you, Chandni. Anuradha, I believe, uh, is going first. Yeah. Thank you, Chandni. And welcome, everybody. And thank you for joining us this afternoon. And Karvila and Anushka, it's very early morning in the US. Uh, but this is very special for us. It's the first time we are talking about our program publicly. And uh, we've got very great feedback so far. So we are hoping that we will be able to spread the message about this uh, new and unique initiative that we launched last year and hope to grow this year. So this is the Vedika program at Agnes Scott College. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a reasonably unique format because it's an undergraduate scholarship that we have set up to offer at Agnes Scott, which is a leading women's liberal arts college in the US. Um, I want to give you a very quick introduction to what the program involves. So the Vedika program at Agnes Scott is um, it's an opportunity for promising young women to receive an exclusive four-year undergraduate degree at uh, Agnes Scott, which is a 127-year-old women's college in America, in, in Atlanta. Uh, after a successful launch in April 2016, which is when we started this, we are now looking to invite applications for our next cohort of 10. And uh, we love what we call our program uh, uh, students at Agnes Scott. We call them Vedika Scotties because it's a combination of what Vedika has to offer and what is offered at Agnes Scott. Uh, we have 10 positions to be filled in 2017. And people who have students who have finished class 12 in India across the study or have spent another year looking, thinking, whatever, they can all uh, apply for this program at Agnes Scott. Um, the program draws inspiration from the very successful postgraduate program that we launched in India. It's called the Vedika Scholars Program for Women. Um, and when you look at the program that Agnes Scott offers, the major and minor in business management, Agnes Scott is one of the few liberal arts colleges that also looks at professional education. And somewhere both Vedika and Agnes Scott believe that financial independence and successful careers for women are at the heart of women's empowerment and uh, women's liberation. So that's the reason why we are very pleased with the management uh, blend with the liberal arts. And the shared vision towards professional working women through an innovative and very pioneering approach to combining management education with the liberal arts is really what is distinctive at the Vedika Agnes Scott uh, partnership. Mohini, can you move the slide, please? Can you move the slide too? Yeah. So uh, this is about Vedika at Agnes Scott. The, uh, the real attractiveness of this program is that there is a Vedika scholarship of $20,000 per year. 
It's been crafted with a concentration on contemporary India in addition to the BA program that you will study for. Uh, Agnes Scott also has a very attractive program called the Summit Leadership Development and Global Learning Initiative. I know that our two Vedika Scotties this year have been very excited about it. Um, there are also uh, curated summer internships in India and the US, including full placement support. One of the things that we believe is that when students leave India before their undergraduate degree to go out and study, there's a big disconnect between India and the US in terms of just their learning and being in touch. So uh, the summer internship is, is a response to that, that you can actually stay in touch with India even as you study in the US. Uh, you will get professional mentorship for the four years and also have access to two alumni networks, one of Vedika scholars and one of Agnes Scott. Mohini, can you move the slide? Uh, complete suit. In the essence, in spreading the essence of the program, because we both have very similar beliefs. Uh, but we prepare women with potential to achieve fulfilling careers. Uh, the postgraduate program that we run is an 18 month full time residential postgraduate certificate in management practice. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders, and I'm uh, helped, and uh, my, one of my co-founders is Kamath Raj Sinha, who's the founding dean of Anil School of Business in Hyderabad, but now also one of the founder trustees of Ashoka University, which many of you would know about. Garbila, would you like to talk about Agnes Park? Right. Yes, um, thanks, Anuraga. And good morning and good afternoon to everybody. Um, Agnesar College, we are your traditional private liberal arts college, um, undergraduate college in Atlanta. And we were established in 1889. So um, it's been some time. Um, and we are, so the basics would be the fact that we our small college with about 902 students. Um, they come from 43 different states, 26 different countries. And however, that's certainly not the only way we define diversity. Um, we are actually named the number two most diversified college by Time Magazine. And that is something I really recommend, like prospective students to talk about when they're speaking with current students via email or Skype. What does it mean to learn in a diverse environment? Um, we are also um, a very residential campus. About 86% of our students live on campus. Average class size is about 15 students. So if you're learning an environment where you can pretty much hear and see everybody in your classroom. Um, and that's definitely something that our, both our professors and our students appreciate. But what Agnes Scott College is known for is Summit. Um, and that is this kind of initiative where we want all of our students to become globally aware and develop their leadership skills. That is something I will get to talk about in a second. Um, but I'm gonna turn it over. There we go. So this is uh, what uh, gets us the most interest in the program. This is the Vedika Scholarship. The annual fee for international students at Agnes Scott College is $52,770. The annual fee for Vedika Scotties after the Vedika Scholarship of 20000 is $32,770 per annum. This includes tuition, accommodation, and meals. Um, it adds up to approximately 21 lakhs a year. Moini, can you move the slide? Right. 
Um, we get a lot of questions around the focus on contemporary India. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier on this webinar, that uh, we are very conscious of the fact that given how things are now, and given how important India has become in the larger international environment, uh, people don't leave India never to come back, which is how it used to be when I was growing up. So uh, there's a lot of uh, interest that young people have in going out, getting a high quality international exposure, international education, but also keeping doors and opportunities open to be able to come back integrate into India and some people are very keen to come back to serve the country so if you want to keep that option open we believe that one of the best ways to do this is to keep our students the Vedika Scotties at Agnes Scott in touch with what's going on here and that's why we've put together this curated concentration in contemporary India uh, this is basically going to cover contemporary politics in India, Indian economics and business, and Indian media. Um, we, yeah, we've also got, uh, we've also, like I mentioned earlier, uh, put, put a process in place by which you can get support for internships, which can allow you to come back and work in India during your summers while you're at Agnes Scott. Sorry, Moini. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, Darbina. at the very core of Agnes Scott's curriculum is Summit, which focuses on global learning and leadership development throughout each student's four years here. There are four key elements of Summit, um, of the Summit experience, and those are global learning, leadership development, having your very own board of advisors and a digital portfolio. There's also a common um, thread through all of the courses you'll be taking at Agnes Scott that connects them by focusing on critical thinking, team building, writing, public speaking, and digital literacy. Um, I'm going to take some time to kind of go over all four of the components. So the very first thing uh, that you do as an Agnes Scott student um, actually happens before you set foot on campus. So over the summer, before your first year, you'll begin working with your summit advisor. Your summit advisor is a professional advisor at Agnes Scott College who's, who works with you um, throughout your all four years of your college experience. Your sole purpose on campus is to advise you. In fact, we had a meeting with the summit advisor a while back and we asked her, who are you to the student? What does this even mean? And she said, let the student know that I'm here to be an expert in you. And that gave me goosebumps because who says that they're here to kind of, you know, spend all of their time in your well-being and success. But once you physically make it to campus, you'll actually go ahead and add a second member to that board known as a peer advisor. This is an upper class woman who's already been in your shoes before and who kind of works, you, works with you to help make that transition from high school to college, even more so from India to Atlanta. Um, so the other thing that will mark the beginning of your time at Agnes Scott is legacy. Um, the Guazueta Foundation Leadership Immersion Program. Legacy helps with all of the normal things um, that a student covers during their college orientation, but also gives them a chance to um, establish the roots of what they think it means to be a leader in the 21st century, um, and to start really considering what their legacy at Agnes Scott will look like. So, Throughout your first semester on campus, you'll also take a Leadership 101 course where you'll continue to explore these themes brought up during Legacy, additionally creating your own digital portfolio with the help of our Center for Digital, um, digital and Visual Literacy. So your digital portfolio will kind of grow and change with you throughout your four years at Agnes Scott. But then, of course, in the beginning, it's a way for you to primarily um, use as a private space for you to reflect upon your experiences in education here. Um, it also kind of gives you the power to create and produce content while making connections between your classes. Um, and then, of course, 
part of embracing this digital and 21st century space is also understanding what it means to be part of such a connected world, what it means to be a global citizen. And so through your global learning courses um, that you'll take during your first year, you'll focus on the patterns and structures and challenges that span, um, that span and shape the globe um, and human lives. So during the spring semester, 100% of our students get to travel, um, get to go on a global journey. Um, majority of these trips are abroad. And so this is very unique to Agnes Scott. Um, I don't know of any other institution that's sending their entire freshman class abroad. This trip is seven to nine days long. It's with a faculty member, your professor, and small group of classmates. Uh, we like to say that it's almost like an appetizer to study abroad. And so our students are pretty much learning outside of the classroom. They're taking the classroom outside into this new space where they're being asked to step outside of their comfort zone, uh, learn in a different environment. Um, but one of the great things about it is the fact that it, this trip is included in the cost of attendance. And so um, these global journeys are taking students to places like um, Europe, Northern Africa. Um, I believe Anushka is going to Morocco. And um, we even have some local trips for um, students who, you know, feel like they've already are making this move from India to Atlanta, Georgia. So we have trips to New York, the Navajo Nation. There's also a trip to Canada. Um, Cuba, um, yeah, it's, it's a very unique experience that all of our first year students are taking part in. Um, one other thing is the fact that at Vista College, we have 34 majors and 31 minors. So all of our students are kind of able to explore their interests, get their feet wet in a few different areas. Um, that definitely is the beauty of a liberal arts education. And so during um, their time here, not only do they have their summit advisor and peer mentor, but they'll also have a faculty advisor who is uh, a professor in the field of which they plan on pursuing a career. And then later on, they will also add a career mentor. This person is um, chosen by the student from our career database um, that is filled with you know, a lot of alumni, members and community members who are eager to work with our students um, as far as shadowing goes, interning goes, to kind of help them realize, is this, this, this path that I'm looking at, is this a good fit for me? Um, do I want to go through law school? How do I even get to law school? How, um, what about, you know, doing the med track or business? Um, these are eager mentors who are interested in guiding our students. Um, again, it's a very unique model when it comes to advisement in the US. Student life on campus, yes. So we can't forget that we're in Atlanta. Um, if only I could see all of the students who are taking part in this webinar, I would have them raise their hand and you know, ask them, who's heard of Atlanta? Um, and so, I'm sure a lot of you have. <laughs> um, Atlanta is home to um, 14 of the Fortune 500 companies. Um, people know us for having Coca-Cola's headquarters. CNN is here. Um, the world's busiest airport is in Atlanta. Um, and then the World Olympics have even taken place in Atlanta. Um, there's a lot going for us, which means that it allows our students to take the skills that they're learning in the classroom into the real world. Um, meaning internships. About 67% of our students complete, um, complete at least one mentored um, internship, um, mentored research, and um, this is kind of helping them determine exactly what it is that they want to pursue after graduation. Um, speaking of graduation, 90% um, of our students graduate within four years, and we've actually been named by Princeton Review as a college that pays you back. 
um, due to the success of our post-graduation. Um, as our students are looking at um, job opportunities and graduate school, um, we've actually had a 93% acceptance rate when it comes to um, being accepted into graduate programs. And I think um, that these success rates really reflect our mission, which is to educate women to think deeply, live honorably, and engage the intellectual and social challenges of their time. Um, and that's really what Agnes Scott is trying to do at the very core. Um, when each student walks through our doors, we really want to help prepare them to become the school leader. But I can go on and on about Agnes Scott, but I think it would be best for you all to hear from a current student about student life in particular. Hello everyone, so I'll be talking about student life on campus. And a um, major part of student life on campus are the different organizations, the different leadership opportunities that we have, and community engagement. So talking about organizations, there are a lot of organizations from which you can choose from according to your interests and be part of it. And this picture that you can see is from this year's Diwali function that we had here. And it was hosted by the organization named Masala SAFE. And SAFE stands for South Asian Cultural Exchange. Um, and um, I'm currently the communication and dance chair of the organization. And we are basically our main aim is to promote South Asian culture through the different events and programs and talks and through social media as well that we have. Um, um, my friend and I have uh, recently established the first um, Agnes Scott College Bollywood Fusion Dance Team as well over here. And our first performance is in Florida this spring. And we're really excited for that. Yes, and it's, it's <laughs> on the Asia Trade Fair um, Food Fair Fest. And it's going to be a huge program. And we're all traveling down to Florida after we come back from our global journeys. So yeah, very exciting time for us. Um, the second aspect that I'm going to talk about is leadership. So with so much emphasis on summit program and all the leadership opportunities, I think there are, there are a lot of leadership programs that are inculcated within the campus as well. And one really important, um, one specific program that is for the first years is the Emerging Leaders Program. And I recently got selected for that. And it was uh, basically there's a, there's um, an application and two rounds of interviews and then a bunch of first years apply for it and 11 of us get selected and we get this opportunity to kind of attend different sessions and a retreat and learn from the different leaders, um, the different professors on campus about their experience and then use it and apply it um, throughout the four years in our experience. Um, and the last is community engagement. And uh, community engagement, we have a lot, we have a lot of programs that, volunteering programs on campus. And we have a website called Scotty's Third. And in that, you can type in your interests um, for any volunteering opportunity. And then all the options will show up throughout the week, um, the different opportunities that you can apply for regarding volunteering or community engagement. And um, this year, um, I also got awarded a <laughs> for the President's Honor Roll uh, Community Engagement Program. And it's basically if you complete a certain amount of hours, then um, you get recognition for that as well. And another thing for leadership was RA. That's part of the resident's life. And uh, RA is basically a res resident assistant. So a resident assistant's job is basically to maintain that community in your building, in your resident's life. So there are different, you have another application process and interviews, and people get selected for becoming an RA. And I recently got selected <laughs> for becoming um, an RA for the next upcoming year as well. And it's a really good opportunity to earn some more scholarship as well, because you get free housing and you get um, free meal plans as well. So that's like you get different opportunities to kind of, you know, show your leadership form, your leadership in different forms. And think about it, that's just during her first year. Um, how incredible is that? It's really uh, about getting out there and looking for different opportunities and finding 
what you're really interested in. Mm -hmm. And I think Agnes Scott will do whatever it takes for you to, to get that interest, you know, there for you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. So that was uh, Anushka Pant speaking to you directly, but we saw her in action a couple of months ago. Both Mohini and I made our first trip to Agnes Scott uh, to see for ourselves uh, what it was like, how our first batch of Vedika Scotties were doing, and also really speak to faculty and other people on campus to get a sense of what the prospects for this program were and how much else we could partner going forward. Um, in the photo, you see two of our uh, two of our favorite people at Agnes Scott, partly responsible for where we are today. Elibeth Kish, who's the president of the college, um, and uh, Beth Hackett, who's the associate professor for women's studies, um, who hosted us for a, a very interesting meeting with people on campus to try and see how we could collaborate, also understand Vedika in India a little bit better and uh, talk about where we were on the program. Um, it was good to see um, Anushka and Dia in action. They showed us around campus. You can see us being tourists, taking pictures in the, in the second shot. Um, also, as Garbila mentioned, both of them at that time were very excited about the summit program that was going to come up. They were deciding which countries they wanted to go to. And uh, I think both of them are now very excited. I know that Anushka is going to Morocco. And uh, I'm not sure about Dia, but I thought she's going to Trinidad. Is that right? Is Dia going to Trinidad? I don't know if they can hear me. But also you heard from Anushka about the dance club, about getting uh, selected for the Emerging Leaders program. I think, um, you know, when you sit here, you always hear from people who've been, whether from your family or friends, that when young people from India go overseas, they really blossom. And it's not like you don't blossom here, but I think there is something to be said about uh, the freedom in a new environment where you're responsible for yourself and what that does to each personality that we watch grow. Um, um, they did go through a fairly long application uh, form and then an interview process. and. Um, I think the quality of the selection is showing. Mohini, you want to take us through the next slide? I hope you can hear me clearly. Um, so Garbia just confirmed that Dia is going to Jamaica and Anushka is going to Morocco. So that's pretty exciting. And it's been really exciting to hear about Anushka's personal experience. And I hope um, that's convinced some of you <laughs> to go onto our website and apply. I'm here to give you some of the boring details, but it's actually a really simple process. Um, I've written the link um, to our website here. You just have to click on that link. Um, you'll see a little apply now button on the bottom right side. If you just fill in your name and your details, we'll follow up with you to go through the common application process right after that. Um, we have, we're already in the middle of our admissions process for the batch that begins in August 2017. The deadline is 15th March, um, so it is approaching soon. It's about a month and a half away, and it is a rolling admission process, so I would encourage you to apply as soon as you can um, because there is an early advantage. The earlier you apply, the earlier you get your um, admissions letter and you know, uh, so on. Um, just to repeat, we have 10 scholarships uh, available across India uh, every year. Um, it's applicable to Indian citizens only, um, for Indian citizens who have completed their education in India. You don't require a SAT score. Um, you will be required to take a TOEFL or an IELTS exam, but um, a SAT score is an optional um, score. You don't have to have uh, taken it at the end. So I'll pass it over to Garbila. This is um, what's required of you from our end, at the Vedika end. I'm going to pass it on to Garbila so she can explain what you need and which documents you need. Yes. So um, 
To apply to Agnes Scott College, we use the Common Application. It's an online application. There is no fee. Um, it's pretty much asking you information about yourself, your family, your education. There is an Agnes Scott Supplement section in which you will write an essay. Um, to think, for you to think about the essay is, um, um, think about it this way. It's it's an opportunity for the admission counselors, for those that are reviewing your application, to learn more about you. Um, at the end of the day, it's not a research paper. Um, it's for us to kind of learn and know about your personality, kind of be able to figure that out through your essay. Um, then, along with the Agnes, along with the essay in the supplement section, we also um, have some open-ended questions. That is, again, to engage your personality. Um, we ask questions like, who's your favorite superhero? Um, and so those are, those are pieces of the Common Application. Um, another component of the comp Common App is for you to provide information about your high school counselor and your teacher who you would like for them to submit a letter of recommendation. We require a letter of recommendation from a counselor and a teacher. Um, your counselor is also required to submit your high school transcript, in which we would like for you to submit at least um, three years of grades. So, you know, from ninth through 11th, or if you have your A level grades, um, all that good stuff is needed. Um, as Mohini mentioned, we need some English proficiency scores. So you can choose to submit either your IELTS or your TOEFL scores. And then the other piece is an evaluative interview at, um, through the representatives at Vedika in India. Um, since we are not requiring test scores, either ACT or SAT, um, it is required for each student to go through this interview process. The last piece is the International Student Certification of Finances. And this is for us to see if um, you are able to meet this gap um, that was um, told to you by, by Anuraga, um, which is approximately $32,770. Um, this is for us to see if you are able to comfortably, you know, provide for an education at Agnes Scott College, not just for us at the end of the day, but for the embassy in which um, that you'll present to um, so they can process um, a visa for you, for you to get here. Um, so those are, the, those are the pieces that are all required for you to have a complete application. And once your application is complete, Students should expect to receive an admission decision from Agnes Scott via email in about two to three weeks from the date that their application was complete. Before we take questions, I very quickly wanted to mention that we have, we are in the middle of applications. We've done, um, I think, about eight or ten interviews already, and uh, I'm so impressed with the quality of young women in this country. I can't tell you. So I keep telling Mohini that when I interview for Vedika Scotties, they would all qualify for Vedika Scholars as well, which is my expectation of women who have already graduated and are ready to enter the workforce. The, we've really had a very, very good response uh, this year. And I hope that uh, Vedika Scotties are going to do both Agnes Scott and Vedika very proud in the, in the months and years to come.
Right, we have a question uh, asking us about information on summer internships in India. So these will be, you will be eligible for these because this is the first year we started. Frankly, if people are interested from year one or two, we could do that. But we've technically thought about this in year three and year four, um, before year three and year four, where you, uh, we will, on campus, we will be in touch with you to understand what your interests are, what kind of organizations you would like to work with, and we would organize those internships. So since the first year, the first set of internships have not happened yet, uh, it's hard for me to tell you what kind of internships they will be, but I can give you examples from what we do at Vedika, and it should give you some idea of what we will be able to do for Vedika, Vedika Scotties. So Vedika, which is a postgraduate program, we actually have a program called Shadow a Woman CEO, and we organize for each of our scholars to go and shadow a, a woman CEO in India for one whole month. So uh, given that internships require a very different level of engagement and a very different level of commitment on both sides, um, I have no hesitation in committing that anyone who's interested in an internship of a particular kind in India would be able to organize that. Yes, so the email address that I would recommend reaching out to as far as the application process goes would be the UG admissions at vedicascholars.com. Now, however, I would love um, any prospective students or admitted students who are interested in applying um, or have been admitted um, to reach out to me and um, I can help them set up a Skype interview, like not necessarily an interview, but a Skype chat with current students on campus, um, even current Vedika scholars on campus, Anushka being one of them. Um, we will happily answer via email, via Skype chat um, to address any questions, concerns, um, ideas that you may have. And for any questions related to the application process, as far as additional scholarships go, um, the Vedic scholarship of twenty thousand um, dollars is is pretty much it. Um, and eligibility criteria is the fact that. We are reviewing these applications holistically, meaning we are looking at each component equally. Um, and so qualifications wise, um, the merit, how well have you done in school? Um, all while, how well have you managed your time outside of the classroom? So we want to see that you've challenged yourself in the classroom and outside of the classroom. What kind of leadership roles have you taken on? Um, any community service in, at school or in your communities. Um, your essay is a great way for us to learn more about you, all while seeing um, your writing skills, um, to see if you are academically prepared for, um, for the classroom setting um, at Adam Scott. Um, and then, of course, your evaluative interview, the way you answer those questions, the way you engage the interviewer, um, all matter. And that is something we definitely go through as well, reading your answers and responses. So the scholarship and admissions decisions um, are not made independently. Um, what ends up happening is that if a student has been admitted and once they receive their decision via email at that time they will also learn about what's um, whether or not they've been awarded a scholarship um, so that information will be in your admission letter
Um, like Anuradha was mentioning, I think it is the first year. So right now you have our website for any de details that you like, and you can speak to us if you have any specific concerns. Um, but our website has everything that we have right now. I think because the program is only in its first year, um, we're waiting to complete at least one year to then start putting up information about internship. Um, and Are there any more questions? And I can see two questions here, one about um, Admission deadline, yeah. Uh, Garbila, I'm looking at this question, and I know that you said that the decisions are uh, made, not made independently, uh, that they will learn when they get admission. But the at least if you get admission through the Vedika Scotties program, then it is an admission with that scholarship. So if you look at Anushka and Diaz profiles, those are the profiles of scholarship holders through the Vedika Scotties program. I can see a question around admission deadlines for, for other programs that Agnes Scott still open for international students. Garbila, do you want to answer that? Yes, of course. Um, so it, admission course, decisions are so it, admission decisions um, and admission deadlines as far as deadlines as far as initiatives. They're open till March 15th. Um, that is our regular decision deadline. Um, our rank as the beta decision deadline. So you have, you know, a good, so you have two months, I would say, um, for you to apply, or at least um, a month, a month and a half, at least for you to get all of your items in. Get all their items. So, leadership at Agnes Scott College um, can be seen in many different ways. We actually want you to hone in on your leadership skills since um, the moment you step foot on campus um, through the Guazueta Leadership Immersion Program that you have that is a part of orientation, um, your Leadership 101 and 102 courses. Um, this theme of leadership is embedded in the curriculum um, all throughout your classes, throughout all of your classes at Agnes Scott. Um, one of the things that I may have forgotten to mention is the fact that we also have um, the opportunities for students to present their research at our very own undergraduate research conference in the spring called SPARC. And um, a, lot of, a lot of our students um, not only are completing these digital literacy portfolios, but also are com completing um, a research project or a thesis um, that they work on 
and are invited to then present their projects during SPARC, the Spring Annual Research Conference. Um, so those are some ways. I know Anushka, if you want to reiterate or mention a few other things. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And like, despite the curriculum, like there's like other co-curricular stuff also where you could kind of um, portray your leadership. And the emphasis on finding your own kind of leadership. So like, it, there's not just one type of leadership that you have to be part of. It's kind of who you are as an individual, what you like to do. And then according to that, finding your leader within that's right. We at Agro Scott realize that there are lots of ways to lead. You don't necessarily have to be the person behind the podium um, speaking to an audience. Um, there are quiet leaders. And so we want to help identify um, your leadership skills, um, your strengths. Um, there is also, um, while students are on their global journeys check, um, there is a week for students to, um, called Peak Week, a, a week for students to kind of take um, some seminars, some classes, um, to do some lower rope courses, um, leadership activities, um, some team building activities, and things like how to adult. Um, there's a class that was, that was um, offered last year called Adulting 101, um, from things like how to manage your budget, um, time management. Um, we, we brought folks from banks for them to come out and talk about um, taxes, time management, money, like what kind of things will help prepare our students for the real world. I'm so glad I have a student next to me um, oh. for this question. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that is a lot of fun, and um, there's there's actually a lot of things that you can do from staying on campus and kind of you know getting involved in different things and being part of different events. There's something or the other going on from I don't know massages happening in the health center to little Scotty dogs coming and you can pet them and you know play around with them to I don't know events that are happening in the library and different events that happen. Um, from organizations, you know, so people really look forward to that. And also, as Gurbila mentioned, that we're in Atlanta. So going downtown, downtown Decatur is walking distance. So we're usually there in uh, different cafes, just studying or, you know, just hanging out with friends or even going downtown Atlanta. There's so much to see. I feel like I'm going to actually spend these four years would be less, it would be really less time to actually go and explore Atlanta as a whole. But yeah, there's Coca-Cola, there's different, um, an interaction with different colleges as well. So there's Georgia Tech, Emory, Georgia State, and um, UGA, and Morehouse. Scott and, Atlanta. Yeah, and there's another women co women's college here, Spelman mm -hmm. College. So interaction with these different um, colleges, collaborating with them for different events. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things to do when it comes to fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff to do, whether you're on campus or off campus. Um, in fact, a, a few weeks back, I saw students playing Quidditch on the quad. Um, you know, the sport from Harry Potter. Um, so just very um, unique, different things um, for everybody to do, whether you want your quiet time with some yoga or you want to head out to the city. Um, Downtown Atlanta. Um, Transportation is really good here. We have MARTA trains, we have MARTA buses, and then Uber is like really convenient here. Yeah. And um, Uber, Lyft are popular. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. MARTA is our um, public transit station um, or service. Distance yeah, it's a five minute walk to catch the train. Um, and the city in kind of which Agnes Scott is in is Decatur, which is literally 10 minutes away from downtown Atlanta. Um, it's a very pedestrian friendly city, um, lots of, you'll see lots of um, students and just people in the community walking around, walking their dogs. Um, I, think it's, I think staying at Agnes is like, it kind of gives you best of both worlds if you want like a quiet time and like you want to kind of stay away from the hustle and bustle of me. And um, so you can stay on campus in Decatur and then if you want to go out the city and you know kind of explore then 
obviously that was just 10, 10 to 15 years ago. Yeah. yeah. We're lucky to be a small college in yeah. a big city. Um, so campus is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If only I could pick up my web camera and like show you, walk you around <laughs> campus, like that would be, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're able to hear Mohni. Um, as far as the academic profile goes, um, I, can, I can definitely run through some numbers. Um, keep in mind, uh, we're reviewing applications holistically, so we don't necessarily have requirements or minimums per se, but we have averages. Um, average GPA of last year's incoming class was about a 3.5, and that is their unweighted G GPA. Um, we're not necessarily looking at test scores since they're not mandatory, but for you to kind of um, have an idea, um, if it comes to the new SAT, that's between an 1180 and a 1350, that's the mid-range, we're looking at your math and verbal. Um, but then your evaluative interview is definitely a good indicator of whether a student is um, a good fit or not. Um, so those are some pieces, along with leadership skills, um, involvement in the community, at your school, um, how consistently have you been involved. Um, so those are definitely some pieces. And then just this, you know, getting the sense that the student is um, curious about learning, you know. Um, students that come to Agnes Scott, they have goals in mind. Um, and so we, we want to know um, what it is that you're interested in learning and why you think Adam Scott is a good fit for you considering we are this liberal arts college for women. Right, I think there are no more questions. Um, thanks to all four of you for providing us with a detailed understanding of the offerings of the Vedika Scholarship Program at Agnes Scott College. Um, this has panned out to be a great session with such diverse elements, like right from the requirements for admissions to, you know, what's the idea of fun at college. I think it's, it's a great session which, is, which has been extremely informative. And it has covered, I would think, by far all the necessary uh, elements. Uh, with this, I would like to thank all four of you for being present with us today. And of course, to the attendees as well for being present and asking us their questions. Um, we, we hope that um, a lot of our applicants consider the program and reach out to you for concerns and uh, apply. Uh, thanks everybody. We, this session has been recorded and it's going to be made available on the Education USA YouTube channel shortly, uh, in fact uh, sometime real soon, and so then this will be available for access to students later as well. Thanks everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>